I had a comment one time, uh, not too long ago. Um, the guy said his bazooka had been leaving blisters. You know, as he's been taping, it's leaving blisters, and the tape and the mud runner behind him, or the wipe down man behind him, is having a hard time keeping up because the bazooka is leaving the blisters a lot. Now, it could be the bazooka, and it, or it could be the pump. Uh, I don't know if the other video we just shot came out very well, but you know what? I want to go get the pump and bring it in here real quick. But if it's the bazooka, a lot of times if it's the bazooka, it's because this thing here is not engaging on these little tabs. This It keeps popping up. So if I pop this loose, do you see how that engages? And what happens is, uh, as this thing spins, this thing pops up and slips past here. And that's it, that happens sometimes. These things get worn out, they get kind of rounded off a little bit, and you might have to go through with a file and straighten these out a little bit, file them down, because they just get worn. And uh, Or it could be this too, this is getting worn, and it needs a new spring in here because it's not pushing in tight enough. The spring pops right out and a new spring pops right in to make sure that this is tight, very tight to this. And that's what you always want, is that very tight. And that'll create air bubbles. But another thing that'll create air bubbles, so hang on a second. This is my pump, and I'm using this because I've only got about 30 sheets here. 30, 38 foot sheets. We hung about 38 foot sheets yesterday. We're going to tape and top it today. We've already pre-filled it. We put the corner bead on. We're going to tape this. We're going to coat this today. So, so the next time I come back, I put a skim coat on it. And then the next time I come back, I just sand it lightly, detail it a little bit, and I'm done. But if I have, if I walk away from my pump, I always have my handle up. Always. I never leave my handle down especially in Arizona in really hot climates. Understand, I'll put this up because I can, I'll put a pump in here. This metal bar here is inside the pump. It's inside the mud down here. So, and you see how clean it is and everything else. But if you start having mud on here, you broke the seal. The seal is broken. You have to replace the seal in here because there should be no mud on this whatsoever. And what happens if you're broken the seal here, a lot of times it'll suck air right here. It'll suck the air in and it'll leave you blisters in this pump. pump just little bubbles everywhere. So every so often you have a little bubble and it has nothing to do with the bazooka. It's the pump itself. So check your pump out. The guy said he had a brand new bazooka. Maybe he's got a, you know, 25 year old pump. I don't know. I, I'm not there with him. But another guy contacted me about air bubbles in the tape. So I'm going to create an air bubble in the tape. Not on this one because this is a short one. This is a short one here. But I'm going to create an air bubble. I'm going to come across this this seam right here, and I'm going to create an air bubble. So I'm going to come across. I'm going to lift up, create an air bubble, and I'm going to go back down, right? So I have a big air bubble in there. And I don't have my, have my pan and my knife on me, though. Shame on me. Tape without a pan and a knife. There it is. It was trying to get away from me. Pan and knife were tired of working. They were hiding behind the corner over there. Uh, all right, so I have an air bubble. It's right here. And what I can do is I can wipe this out, but and I can wipe this out, okay? Sometimes if it's a small air bubble, the, the mud will flow. But let's say it's a big air bubble, and I have a big air bubble. Now, I can probably pull this back and mud it out and stuff like that. But you know what? I find it's much easier to just peel the tape back a little bit, mud it up, wipe it out. I find it's much easier to do that. This is not going to crack. They actually even overlapped a little bit and they're not going to crack. So, so whenever I find an air bubble, and sometimes I come into houses where I'm doing remodel work, right? And I'm doing remodel work and I start coating it in and they have a big piece of tape that bubbled out right in the middle of the seam. A lot of times, I will just remove that piece of tape. 
remove it completely, put my own in right where that tape was, the exact same size as that tape was, wipe it down, and then coat that. I'm not going to, um, you know, try to take out all of their mud, especially if this is all a painted surface and everything else. I'm just going to remove the blister, put a new piece of tape in there with mud behind it, and then and then and coat it that way. So, if you have an air blister, and and it doesn't just the, you can't get the mud to just flow through the blister and white and go out, just rip it. I think it's it. It's easier for me anyway to just rip it a little bit and, and mud it in. Uh, and then did you see how I created that blister too? So, I mean, I don't. I'm not saying that's what that's what the guy is doing and I'm not saying that's what you're doing is you're lifting the gun up off the wall and running a big blister I mean we don't do that especially when this becomes part of our right hand we don't do that unless you're left handed this becomes part of your left hand but so I mean I can I can create a blister anytime I want by just by just picking it up off the wall you know can't do it on that one but I can just pick it up create a blister and I have a big blister here, just by picking the gun up off the wall. Um, I can I can pull this blister out with mud. I can just just by the mud that's behind here, I can get that to flow on that one. Let me hit this last flat here because I don't want to forget it. And so uh, so there you have it. Those that's a couple of a couple of little tricks or a couple of little things that happen to people with blisters, how they get them in their mud, how they get them in their... Now watch, see? That blister came right up. I have the mud flowed out on both sides of my tape. I have no blister there anymore, and, and it's gone. So, but that's why some blisters occur. That's why we have problems with, with air bubbles in the bazooka. Um, sometimes it's the bazooka, sometimes it's just the pump. I've had both problems. I've had it happen with me both ways. I've had uh, I had to replace the spring. I've had to replace the spring. Understand, guys. I've been running one of these things here for 40 years now, for 40 years. So I have replaced many of these springs, not just one, many of them. I have had to replace. I've had to replace this piece. I've had to replace this thing here because it worn out. I wore this thing out. I've wore out holes in bazooka things because of the wheels. Uh, it was just rubbing, 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 and eventually it wore a hole right through here. And I had to sell that bazooka really cheap. <laughs> sold it though. They needed the parts, and I still sold it. Um, but so I've, I've literally worn out bazookas, and I pay for them. So I am very careful, and I try to make sure that my guns run very well. But I have worn them out. They, they have moving parts. They wear. Uh, and those, those are some of the things that wear. These are the things that wear. The spring wears. Uh, and they will create blisters when they wear down too much. You have a good day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.